In January 2021, ACT grants and Cure AI work together for improving India's COVID-19 response system in remote, resource-limited settings through effective COVID-19 screening, triaging, and disease progression monitoring. The efforts were spearheaded by implementing Cure's automated chest X-ray interpretation tool, QXR, at facilities providing healthcare to underserved populations in rural and semi-urban India. These facilities were suffering a dearth of resources like shortage of medical staff and equipment while simultaneously battling the significant burden of tuberculosis. Now, they had to swiftly respond to the demands of the COVID-19 pandemic as well. With RT-PCR test facilities located considerable distance away, diagnosis time at these medical centers was often in days. In this critical situation, we realized that chest x-rays could be used as a primary investigation tool prior to confirmatory tests for COVID-19. Cure AI's team deployed QXR for COVID-19 management response in 20 hospitals across 15 states in India. QXR generates AI-aided analysis, determining whether a chest X-ray scan is normal or not, along with a list of 30 other abnormalities, including that of COVID-19 and TB. It also accurately quantifies the volume of the lung that's been infected. All this is done in under a minute. This enables early diagnosis for patients by triaging them for rapid antigen or RT-PCR test, or isolating them immediately and reducing further transmission of the disease. As part of this project, a total of 35,000 plus patient x-rays were scanned for COVID-19 with QXR. 17,500 individuals were triaged for COVID-19 using QXR, of which 40% were flagged as COVID-19 indicative. Out of these, 50% were isolated as a next step. 62% were referred for a COVID-19 microbiological test. 27% median RT-PCR positivity rate was observed for those flagged as COVID-19 presumptives by QXR. 31% of patients who were isolated or referred for testing were incidentally detected as a result of QXR and might have otherwise been missed. Further, over 15,000 COVID-19 patients were treated by using QXR as a COVID-19 progression monitoring tool. While the initiative was initially intended to manage COVID-19, it eventually expanded to include TB screening tailored to the needs of the institutions, resulting in bi-directional TB and COVID-19 screening protocols. QXR was used across the following use cases in these health facilities. AI for COVID-19, screening and triage, surveillance, progression monitoring. Use case number one, AI for COVID-19 screening and triaging. Shortage of RT-PCR testing in remote areas contributed to increased diagnosis times, exposing the limited staff to COVID, forcing some hospitals to close for weeks. To address this, QXR was used as a tool for triage or immediate, which played an important role before confirmatory tests, screening for infectious diseases when detected radiology services were unavailable. So in the time of a pandemic, to make sure that um, the COVID pandemic does not affect non-COVID care, that was a huge priority. And, and so isolation, triaging and isolation become a huge component for us. Um, and I think one of the main uses that we, we had for, uh, for this software was to actually triage patients. And if you suspect them, to make sure that they're not in contact with uh, non-COVID care patients. Uh, so that was one. Second was when we first started, uh, the government was providing RT-PCR services, but we would get the results 10 days late. <laughs> By the time the patient is already well or not well, uh, we were a dedicated isolation center. We were not actually allowed to treat, but as the pandemic built, 
all the government facilities were overwhelmed and then we started treating so during that initial phase when we didn't have testing to go by this was a useful part of the diagnostic algorithm later we got rapid antigen tests <clears throat> it was not as sensitive as pcr uh, so we sort of built a diagnostic algorithm and we said this 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 then it's the it's covid it's suspect covid or uh, confirm covid uh, so we were able to build a diagnostic algorithm i think that was like a, a life saving for me uh, i we have short of doctors and we have a huge unit of doctors so even though i went into the covid ward initially to just get a hang of the disease after doing that i knew we had to run by protocol so we had junior doctors managing the whole covid ward but with these protocols which are based on this uh, clinical definitely clinical uh, along with this uh, software interpretation uh, and a few more parameters we were able to uh, classify our patients and also manage them in the second wave it was not possible for a single physician to see every single person review the x-ray so this time the pandemic was totally nurse run the initial management was all based on a protocol where they had to look at the software and see what the was it none was it was it none was it low medium high and then with some other parameters they had to put together and start up the initial management then the doctor came in and sort of refined the whole thing and made sure that uh, everything was okay so i feel like in a resource per se you may not have enough doctors or doctors are not very confident of reading chest x-rays uh, and you have only nurses so you have other uh, members of the health team during the first wave you know covid where um, i think the entire rural healthcare infrastructure was sort of just struggling to catch up and uh, be able to do tests and things like that but before all that could be put in place uh, the pandemic was on us uh, so at that time and maharashtra was one of the first to be affected so during that time uh, uh, the qxr was really helpful to us we had this to rely on to be able to pick up patients with the uh, uh, suspect who was suspect covid uh, and uh, it would take us a long time uh, before we could actually get them tested so most of the time uh, the patient would have been sorted out and either you know is uh, their their illness was completely uh, cured or they had person by the time the report was available to us so this really helped us because that was a time when we were running both services uh, for covid as well as non covid and uh, so being able to isolate patients into suspect areas uh, was a uh, you know it gave a lot of confidence to the whole system because not having anything in hand would have been very difficult and waiting for the reports uh, the, by the time the reports came back to us it was usually about 10 days because from here from our rural area swabs would go to uh, the district center and from there further on to thulia which is another 120 kilometers so by the time the reports the turnaround time was really high so we couldn't really depend on that and yet we had to manage the hospital and you know keep people safe so having this really helped us to decide how to uh, where our patients needed to go and and how we would manage them and also gave us confidence in being able to tell them that we do have some evidence you know to say that uh, you could be having covid because that was a time when there was also a lot of fear around covid so people didn't want to hear that that was a possibility for them uh, but uh, with this confidence we were able to counsel them well and, uh, and i think it was really helpful use case number 2 ai for covid-19 surveillance In several hospitals, QXR was used in a chest x-ray surveillance mode to track asymptomatic or incidental COVID-19 cases that might otherwise be missed. For example, in one of the hospitals, in addition to triaging suspected COVID cases, QXR assisted doctors in managing preoperative patients, helping them to identify and flag suspected cases who were planned for procedures. Based on the COVID screen result, they were deferred till diagnosis or handled with appropriate additional safety measures in case of an emergency it was very helpful for us in uh, first wave from first wave itself as uh, i had told you also that um, triaging of the patients as well as um, 
like uh, this is a mostly pader is a mostly a surgical care center so and we don't have an anesthetist in house so it's the physicians who do the anesthesia and anesthesia checkup and also um triaging all our routine surgical patients also and suspecting them and then sending them for a test that was one major help during the first wave the first wave was not that bad here we had lesser patients and during the second wave we had like ample number of patients every single day and uh, in patients out patients pregnant asymptomatic ones also among somebody who was post op we would found find that they could have developed uh, fever in the ward and then we had done x ray initial x ray was normal and later on they would have done it. so overall this app was uh, really helpful for us and um, like um, we have four physicians here and uh, all of us were using it it plus as well as all our junior doctors and uh, apart from not only triaging and surgical patients even amongst our staff uh, who were exposed and working in the wards we would do routine x rays for them and then if they suspected we'll go for an hrct or a rapid antigen or rtpcr whichever would be available at that time and so that's how uh, we managed to uh, screen our staff and uh, diagnose early and so we were able to have all our staff alive yet and nobody expired although many of them had got infected so and i would uh, um, i i hope that this uh, cure app will help us during the third wave also thank you there were patients who were coming in we have a lot of leprosy affected people coming with ulcers and reactions in urethritis and uh, they come in for that uh they are having fever and we have to differentiate uh, between the fever caused by covid and due to these causes and uh, uh that's when uh, my good friend abi daniel who's here in the forum today introduced me to uh, the app uh, uh and uh, uh i thought about it i had a discussion with the leprosy mission group of hospitals uh we even met officially uh, where uh, nature of the software was uh, explained to everyone and we decided to adopt it and uh, uh, thereafter when the second wave came uh, you know i was able to tell my staff that see we have acquired this software this is how we are going to triage patients uh, they uh, come for ulcer debridements they come for surgeries they come for uh, reaction and neuritis uh, going to triage them i'll do a proper evaluation of course uh, it can never replace clinical examination so i'll be examining them as well but uh, this was like an adjuvant uh, uh, us uh, isolate patients who we suspected and who we had to send for uh, further testing be it rt pcr or rapid antigen um uh, are patients affected by leprosy especially they are already stigmatized by leprosy and uh, when they all they were also affected by covid it is double the stigma they cannot go back to their villages because they'll be thrown out uh uh you know we are not a covid designated center uh so sending them to a covid designated center for beds also was difficult uh so many of the leprosy affected patients who were affected by covid were managed by us over here uh, uh isolated triaged and managed uh, by us using the app uh so that is the other way that it really helped uh, us, uh deal uh, us uh, Since QXR was used in a chest x-ray surveillance mode, it was helpful in detecting asymptomatic patients who might have been missed otherwise. Uh, to be frank, uh, Cure uh, Solutions has been really uh, very effective and um, it is a very uh, in a short time we have learned a lot. like especially uh, because covid pandemic didn't come with an announcement and uh, there were so many things to learn like to treat the x rays to treat the patients when to know which patient is sick uh, how to treat early and uh, save a patient from uh, getting more sick but uh, cure has really helped us in that regard because uh, many times when patient didn't present with findings and uh, we were not getting chest x rays uh, routine as a routine but um, what we found that uh, many of them did become sick at a later date and uh, so we felt that the treatment was delayed in the first wave but uh, after having the cure uh, we made it a point to have a baseline x ray done for all our patients so when we started 
doing that we found that many patients who actually had mild symptoms or no symptoms had significant uh, chest x-ray findings which needed a more uh, uh, rapid treatment and uh, when we initiated that kind of treatment being in a very rural setup and uh, uh, we are actually located in one of the most uh, rural areas of odisha and this is the most remote uh, uh, district of odisha noapada district and even um, people here have uh, no access to any private health care like mission hospital is the only charitable sort of private organization which they run to and if we have to refer them to a higher center they really don't go anywhere they just go home to die so uh, that was a big challenge for us to catch these covid patients early and to initiate rapid uh, cheap and good treatment so to save their lives and uh, cure has been very instrumental in helping us by uh, reading the x rays we could uh, understand for ourselves and also help our patients and providing them treatment which have saved their lives so i want to thank cure for the wonderful work they are doing uh, not just in big areas but also in small areas like us it has been really helpful for us thank you so much use case number 3 ai for covid-19 progression monitoring if the hospital had a covid ward qxr was additionally used by doctors as an objective disease progression monitoring tool as it provided qualification of lung region affected towards providing treatment and critical care to covid-19 patients when this was on and when we tied up with the mcdm and with the cure ai to install the ai system for our radiology department it was a huge uh, leap for us uh, with the ai system that we had we were able to diagnose early uh, thereby when you diagnose early you reduce the morbidity you reduce the mortality you reduce the hospitalization among patients the other thing which i realized is that it reduced the workload on the frontline staff in a big way uh, by doing that it improved the efficiency the efficiency was far far better it almost doubled and there was a huge transparency when you are dealing with all this and where ai actually helped and that was a significant uh, finding was that it gave us the percentage of affection of both the lungs and that made a sizable difference when i mean just telling you that this patient has got diffuse bronchopneumonia so both lungs are involved fair enough that anyone could say that or patient has got diffuse interstitial pneumonia anyone could say that but when you say that the right lung is 38% involved and the left lung is 62% involved or whatever way it gives a huge uh, uh, you know flip to the uh, clinician to understand how or he how he or she should be treating the disease also prognostically it becomes important for example today if you have picked up a lung which is 48% involved you put the patient on the right form of treatment then when you do a chest x ray and you and you put the ai tool in place you get to know whether the disease has progressed or whether it has reduced so it was definitely a big big uh, boon for us using the ai there is no doubt about it Using QXR, a total of 17,500 people were screened and triaged for COVID-19 over the course of 6 months in 2021, with 40% of them being marked as COVID-19 suggestive. Furthermore, 15,716 people with COVID-19 were treated using QXR as a disease progression monitoring tool. It's worth noting that over a third of these were junior doctors, non-specialists, who were given QXR as a clinical decision support tool to instantly refer COVID-19 suspects to the next phase in the patient care process. All this was possible due to the humble chest X-ray and equipping it with Cure AI's robust cutting-edge technology.